Hello everyone, my name is Angel Madrano and today I'm going to show you how you can use JavaScript to pass in variables into your Flash movies or your Swifts uh, using something called Swift Object. So um, let me give you a quick example of this before we start doing anything. Um, here we go. Alright. So what is Swift Object? Swift object is actually a JavaScript file that um, allows us to embed uh, Flash content into an HTML page. Um, before CS4, uh, there was a different way of doing it, but then Swift object came out and Adobe actually adopted it as the official way to embed uh, Flash content into HTML. Um, and so that's why we're using it now. Anyways, uh, Swift Object um, has some great, uh, a great API you can use to detect uh, what version of Flash people have, and also, like I said, pass in variables into your Flash movie, and it's very, very simple. Um, so let me just give you a quick example. Um, our Flash movie right here. Uh, this is a Flash movie I built and this text is actually coming from my HTML page. Now let me show you what that looks like. Let me just grab this over here and here it is. Um, as you can see I have, let me clean that up just a bit, okay so I've actually uh, imported or just uh, linked to my JavaScript file uh, swiftobject.js um, and then I have this little Java JavaScript snippet um, this is a simple object, we, we'll go over this a little more later and um, this is my JavaScript variable that I want to pass into my Flash movie and this is the value of that this is actually the the uh, line that embeds your Flash movie into your page. Um, my Swift is called Swift Object Sample uh, This is the name of the div that I want my Flash uh, Swift to be put into. These are dimensions. This is the player that I expect people to have. Um, if they don't have at least Flash Player. 9, uh, Swift Object will serve them this alternate content. And um, it's really useful. It's, uh, it also allows you to do a quick update to your Flash Player. I think it even does it in your browser. Um, so it's a really, uh, really smooth user experience uh, updating their Flash Player if they don't have the right version. Um, and that would be through express install, so that's why that's in there. And finally, I'm passing in my flash variables into my flash movie. So let me just show you what I can do um, really useful. So if I save that and reload my page, there you go. I didn't have to mess with my Swift at all, and um, yeah, it's in my HTML page. Um, real quick, something that would be this could be really, really useful for, which I've used in the past, is if you, I'm sorry, if you have some sort of PHP variable uh, that you want to put into your Flash movie, um, it's very easy to do that. So you could just say PHP echo uh, yeah. something like that and of course that would pass in whatever this PHP variable was uh, into your flash movie and you could display it so anyways let me show you real quick what we're going to be building um, do 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 let me close this um, this is a kind of a neat little idea um, it's a annual fundraiser meter and so this would be cool if um, you were a nonprofit and you were raising some money or one of your clients was and you wanted to give um, your client or whatever 
uh, an easy way to update the goal and to display some sort of progress um, without really having to do any sort of uh, back-end stuff, you know. You just change a couple of variables uh, in your HTML page, real simple stuff, and it would update for you. So let me just show you real quick. Uh, let me reload this and show you what it does. So as you can see, this is our goal, and that's set with Swift object. And this percentage just gets calculated, and then we do an animation. And this uh, this bar right here is 28% um, of its actual height. So it represents uh, the 28%. So let me show you the um, HTML page real quick. Okay, sorry about that. Rearranging windows. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we got our Swift object embed. It's embedding our Swift into our page. And here is our flash vars. And here I have two variables. So you can pass as many variables as you want into your movie. Um, so you can see flash vars goal is going to set my goal right here in this area. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, flash vars actual is going to, it's the amount of money that we've actually raised. So say our goal was going to be $2,000 and we've actually raised $200. I save that and let's see what it displays. 10%. Okay, so, um, so there you have it. Uh, so that's what we're going to be building today, and we'll jump into that here in one second.